what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with another reaction man vikings vikings what did i tell y'all man i tell you this is how this channel is man people come around my channel and they see how i do things um and they just they bounce <laughs> you know what i'm saying like my vikings the first um one that i did which is episode episode 11 of part two like it's sitting at oh i think it's like at like 2000 views right now <laughs> like 2000 and something views right now and like the last one i did is at like a hundred and something views like that's just how it always goes for my channel like i don't know people just don't like my format but it's okay um i appreciate you guys for sticking around and coming back you know our regulars you know what i'm saying um i appreciate you guys for sticking with me man um this is how it always is um so i appreciate it nonetheless so shout out to y'all for coming back um so vikings is winding down man and you know i got what six episodes left to go um this episode here that we're about to watch hopefully we can see more of what's going on in is it greenland yeah greenland now so they named the place greenland and you know shetl is you know off his rockers about a damn whale that washed up don't want to share so i don't know how this is going to go shetl is he's a bitch bro let's just call it what it is that's what he is you know what i'm saying um i don't like people who are just super selfish and just out for their own gain like that like bro it's a big ass whale you don't want to share because it landed on your property like you know what i'm saying and then you want to talk about then you want to talk about your gods like the gods is a reason why the gods washed it up on your property like you know stuff like that when people use their religion for you know what i'm saying to to to, to claim luck or to claim certain things or to, like yeah it may have washed up on your property but a lot of times that you know if you're going to put it into religious perspectives like a lot of times those things are test to see what you're going to do you get what i'm saying it's to see what you're going to do if i give you this are you going to just keep it for yourself or are you going to share it you get what i'm saying a lot of times those are just test it's not for you to be like oh me 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 it's my mine 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 you know what i'm saying like it's a test you you know what I'm saying? Um, but in any case, you know, Ragnar is going to always be my favorite when it comes on to the type of person that he was. Um, but in any case, guys, let's go watch this reaction. I will see you guys for the review. All right. So as I was saying... You know, if that is the end of the whole Rus arc, um, if it, in my opinion, if I'm saying this is a big if because I don't think it is, I don't think this is the end of that arc because I feel like oh, I think I think Oleg is gonna come back to life or <laughs> whatever because he, he 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 kept saying I am the son of God. I think he has a plan to to like raise himself from the dead in three days or something of the sort i think that part of it is part of his plan but it just didn't go into details about it they didn't even mention it because if you don't know the story of christ then you wouldn't know you know what i'm saying i think he has some elaborate plan to like be risen from the dead in three days or whatever so i'm not gonna give up yet on them but if if we get to like you know the next probably three or four episodes and i still don't see him raised from the dead or whatever then i'm gonna be extremely disappointed about the roost arc and i'm gonna tell I, i'll tell you guys why if that happens but i'm gonna leave it up in the open as i said right now as it is as if this if this is it's a very heartwarming ending to it with the relationship between ivar and igor was really good i like that i like that they showed how their connection how their bond 
throughout this entire time was established and now it was done it was done very good it's one of those relationships that was really heartwarming for me and and myself almost made me tear up there at the end there um but as i said in terms of the arc itself if that's how it's end it's going to be really underwhelming for me um because i think they could have done a little bit better with with it but i as i said they i think they're purposely leaving out the whole christ raising being you know what i'm saying rising from the dead coming back alive i think they left that part out on purpose because he kept saying i'm the son of god died on the cross blah blah, blah. he thinks he's the son of god whatever i think those are clues as to what is going to happen of him coming back to life i think this is all pretend i think even the Rus army that he has is pretending like you know because they knew this was going to happen and this is all an elaborate plan you know for them to take over it's like oh let's invite them all in figure out a way to get them all in here let's play surrender and then you know what i'm saying we will we will have them here so we can take over right and i think that is what is going to happen so i'm not going to you know put the hammer down on this arc yet i think it is still going um and i think it's a it's a trickery i think it's a trickery but we'll see how it goes anyways let's talk about the other things that happened in the episode the whole thing that happened with gun hill like as i said there's no there was no reason for them to do what they did but they did it anyways they tried to give her a good send-off but as i said um i think it would have been better if they if she had just jumped off the boat and just sank like it would have been better instead of having her swim out into the open ocean and then decide to sink like to do the same thing like as i said if you felt some sort of way for gunhill doing that fine um good for you it, it just it didn't do anything for me um as i said i don't think there's anybody in this series that's left that could die to make me feel the way how i felt when ragnar and 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 lagatha died like i don't think anybody else is gonna i'm gonna have that feeling for um not even floki to be honest bjorn i don't want to go back there because you know a lot of people didn't like the fact that i said it was kind of underwhelming for me um i thought the way how they did it was very good i just it's it's just how i felt about it you know what i'm saying um i thought that bjorn was gonna be one of those characters right that i felt the same way how i felt about lagatha because he meant that much to the series to me um but i don't know i don't know if it's i don't know i i just don't know it just felt like it was rushed in my opinion and a lot of people don't think that way you know but that's cool that's cool that's just how i felt about it. i felt like his death was rushed i felt like if they had did it like midway through part two it would have been better i think i would have cried <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying that you know you're gonna cry over every death i just felt like because of what bjorn meant to the series and me following his story um throughout the entire series even though i don't like how they've been portraying his character in, in the later seasons you know just as this dude that just oh every woman he sees he just wants <laughs> you know what i'm saying um bjorn changed women like he changed clothes like it was ridiculous so um but as i said man it's i don't know what is it about gunhill deaths i just didn't feel it like you know it is I, I, they could have done a, i don't know if they could have done a better job i just felt like it was just a wasted like five minutes that they could have used for something else <laughs> you know and i know i'm probably being extremely critical for no reason but it's just how i felt about it and i can't i don't want to be dishonest with you guys about how i feel and you you know you have the right to hit the dislike button you know if you don't like what i have to say you felt like they did it did her justice for her character um i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> 
you know, um, they didn't, you know, the situation that's going on with, uh, I think has become the most exciting storyline of, the, you know, right now is, you know, with Uber and Torvi and, and, um, out there, you know what I'm saying? Shetel going crazy, you know, basically they started a war over the whale and Uber them had to leave. They had no water and rain started falling so they they were saved in that manner so they could drink some water at least survive for some time until they hit land again hopefully so that was pretty cool but in any case guys that is all i have to say about this episode on to the next one um i'm gonna have a lot to say about this series when it ends so, so i'm going probably going to do a separate video of the entire vikings series um review in my opinion just running down all the, the events that happened um and what they did and what i felt like they did right what they did um wrong you know um they've really picked the writing back up this this season no doubt about it um but we'll we'll see what i have to say i am taking notes after i watch episodes to see you know make sure that i have my thoughts together for that review but in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment on the video, however you may feel. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.